We have enough paint to kind of get back to fixing things up around here a little bit. I like the idea of the brick look here, the kind of the brownstone, whatever. So I think we'll stick with that and we'll, uh, you know, hey. Nope, 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 nope. There you go. Focus on that one. Thank you very kindly. My bad. That was my, my terrible aiming there. I saw that it said use, and I was like, okay. Anyway, we'll fix this up so everything looks all nice and neat. Look at that. This is going to be really good. I'm liking this already. If we take a step back, I mean, granted, the railing isn't great, but yeah. That looks a bit better. Oh, and then I guess we need to fix those guys up there, too. Yeah, at some point this turned into this old house, and um, I guess you're welcome for that. I don't know, I haven't done one of these types of things in forever. Kind of a, a rebuild sort of thing. I mean, granted, this is a very small building, so... There's really not a whole lot of uh, effort, challenge, whatever, involved in making that happen. But just the same, it's still kind of fun, you know, to do something a little different and rebuild the place, make it look all nice and neat-like. I guess we probably need to... Here, let's grab you. Let's do that texture, and then we'll change those so they look like they match again. Oh, my bad. My bad. We'll, we'll not worry about that. That's fine. We have enough wood, I'm pretty sure. And then here, let's make sure we grab that one. And I just want to make sure that that all matches, too. That was something we did ages ago. I thought, now I want to make sure that it all looks right. Um, This one... Did we do all the way down to... I guess we did. We did do blue all the way down. Okay. Well, I don't really want the blue right here. That was not the intention. And I want the stairs to be... Hey. There we go. Say, so if I try long enough, I will find the correct spot to do it. Oh, we need to wreck that spot right there. So we got to fix that guy. And we'll grab that, and then we'll switch to our paint roller so that this goes a little faster. There you go. I'm probably covering myself in paint. It's just like real life, I'm pretty sure. Trying to make sure that I don't go over. That looks pretty good. We'll do that. Okay. And then... I guess just to save on some paint, because we don't have a whole lot here, we'll manually fill in the gaps right here. Leaving our porch unaltered. Here you go. I don't think we have materials to repair with, but whatever, we can do that later. So let's go find that block that needs to be yanked out, because that's kind of the last one. That's going to be on the second floor. Maybe? Or is it this one right here? It could be this one right here. Let's bust down the pickaxe here. Kabonk. Kabonk. Bonk. Nope, this is gonna... Hmm. Okay, I'm... Nope. Okay, that was not the right one. My bad. I had a feeling that was not the right one. Maybe you should tell me. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. So here. Cover you, so... What block... Oh, interesting. It's... It's at the, the ceiling level, so that's why I cannot find that one. But here, we'll just go ahead and do this. This is fine. And I'm not necessarily concerned about replacing the block with the exact materials, especially especially one right there. I mean, we can do that, and I am good with that all day long. That's totally fine. No one will ever know. It's not that big a deal, and since this is that block is literally like right there, Seriously, there, there's no way you'll ever know. It's fine. Probably do need to affect some repairs in here, though, so that's going to require a bunch of cobblestone. And then we kind of did the windows blue on the inside there. I kind of like the look of that. I mean, it's it's a little wonky. I'll grant you that. It's a little wonky here. Just to make sure I grab the right color, we'll do that. I mean, it, it has its own charm, for sure. We'll just do something like this here. Painty, painty, paint. I feel like I'm Bob Ross right now. Although, I have been referred to as the Bob Ross of gaming. 
pretty sure I'm okay with that because Bob seems like he's a pretty heck of a dude. Although I don't have a squirrel in my pocket, so there you go. No baby squirrels. Okay, one more after this one. I think we've run out of paint. Okay. Well, that's just going to have to be what that's going to be because we still have a few more to, to fix. We have obviously these blocks here. We still have the ceiling blocks. We don't have that asphalt texture yet last I knew. Oh. Okay, we do now. Or maybe I forgot that we did. Either way. Let's go downstairs. We have one thing we need to do before we get moving and rolling and all that stuff today because we do have things to do. Put that in there, because I guess that's where we've been storing that. I don't know. I think that is still over here, isn't it? That was a weird sound I just heard. I don't know what that was. Maybe over here? I don't know where the paintbrush goes. Whatever. I'm going to put you right there for now. And then here, let's put back all those guys. We need to grab some dirt. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Grab that. So that we can make some mushroom spores and we're gonna do i guess we're just gonna do two of them that way we get four and then back up to here we go it's probably time to increase the size of this room i guess we need to do that now so uh, i don't know that it's gonna matter because these things take more space than i'm thinking they do. So if we do something like that... See, those guys are growing right there. We could probably... get rid of this. And I realize we're going to have to get rid of these guys now. So bye-bye. It was nice knowing you. Okay. Close our door. I don't even remember that it matters in this version of the game to have... to have them in darkness, but... Whatever. I don't mind. Perfect. That worked out exactly as I hoped it would because I didn't bother to count anything. Okay. So, we'll let those go. That'll be a few days before they're ready to go. It's definitely not an efficient way to grow mushrooms. I know that much. Maybe they are... I don't know. Whatever. I mean, here. Let me just see. Just for the giggles, right? You should be... Yeah, you're dark in there. I mean, it's as dark as it's going to get because... You know, ambient light somehow slips through everything. There. Is that even darker now? No. Not in the slightest. Whatever. It's fine. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it, KIC. Don't overthink it. The rest of these guys, I don't think we are, are really able to process anything in any of them. We don't have anything waiting for us. This one, we have a gun safe ready to go because I think I mentioned that it might be kind of fun to have another gun safe in here, so there you go. There's another gun safe. And what I want to do is transfer all of the weapon stuff over there, so give me a second. So this is set up now so that the leftmost gun safe is all of the weapons. I'm going to call a sledgehammer a weapon in this case, and also flashlight because it's weapons or weapon parts. And then the rightmost safe is for ammunition. And I should say that this is for basically fully assembled ammunition and or uh, stringed weapon ammunition parts. Because what I've done is I left everything else in here. So we have all the brass, all the casings, gunpowder, all that stuff in here. Because if we're going to process things, then I might as well just leave them over here because this is where they're going to be processed. We're going to have to make casings here in the forge, etc., etc. So I figured just leave everything over there and we'll call that good enough. So for now, I think probably what we want to do is, I guess, hit the road. We've done basically everything that I want to do over here for the time being. We're not done, not necessarily. But I think I'm, I'm ready to hit the road because I've had... At this point, the better part of a week of just building stuff. And and while that's fun and, you know, it's different, it's cool, all that. Um, yeah, I might want to go kill a zombie or three. And not have to rely on wandering hordes to be the ones that we're killing. 
Now where we go, I don't know. I'm just looking around here at our options. I'm pretty sure this does not go anywhere. That's just a road that connects right there. So we do have a road that leads out of town over here. We could hit that one. Uh, I don't know that there would be anything over here. I'm guessing not. I don't remember much of what was in this desert area. And then we have the stuff to the south, and there's going to be a lot of area to the south. Unfortunately, this doesn't connect anything, so we might need to follow that way or else just cut through the wilderness. I want to say let's uh, let's start over here for now. I'm okay with that. So we'll kind of head out in that general direction. I'm going to make sure that we have extra fuel and stuff in the bikes. I think it has fuel, but that's about it. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll pick up over there-ish. Water aside, with this version of the game, I've generally been able to just cruise across the landscape without any regard for what's in the way. I mean, I basically just made a straight shot to get over here. It worked out just fine. I don't know if it's this particular seed or if it's this version of random gen, but the world overall is much smoother. I mean, obviously it's not flat because we're seeing lots of hills and all that sort of thing. But overall, it's much smoother when it comes to the general terrain. And that translates into the ability to just drive straight across the landscape and not have to worry about every time you go up and down a hill and all that jazz, whether your vehicle will get stuck or if it's going to take you three years to climb up the slightest incline. I kind of missed that. If I had to guess, I'm going to say that we're going to hook around here to the whatever direction that is. West? Southwest? Yeah, there's the land bridge right there because we have... Oh, hi. I heard you. I don't see you, but I heard you, birdie bird. We have ourselves a little bit of a township over there. Now, I don't know. I don't think this is one we've been to. This area does not look familiar to me, but I'm going to hop off. Nope. This is brand new. This is really what I was hoping to find, because, you know, come on. We gotta go new places and all that jazz. We're more or less in a desert, and I think we'll stop since we're just right here. And, you know, it's not that big a deal to do so. We'll just stop right here and go check out what's in this campsite. We're gonna switch to night vision so that we don't give everyone the warning that we're here. I should probably tell you that before we left, we repaired the wrench. Needed to make some steel ingots to make that happen, but did. Problem solved. Hi, how you doing? Oh, you are a military guy, aren't you? And you are not happy. Okay. Fallen soldier with high-quality SMG barrel. Wow. It's funny, too, because as I was driving over here, I was kind of thinking that... Oh, goodness. Um, er, that we might have to start being really picky about what we're actually taking. Like that, I'm just going to scrap. And I suppose in some respects, we do have the benefit of being a little later in the game. I mean, you know, we're still, well, barely day 25. I was going to say day 24, but no, we are day 25. It's going to hit the thing, isn't it? Oh, no, I actually hit the zombie. Okay, good news. Hi, how you doing? Oh, you seem angry. Okay. Do that. Hi, how you doing? I think you're dead. That's just good. Problem solved. Anyway, as I was trying to say, we're a little further into the game, so we can afford to be picky, but we also kind of have to be picky. Like, um, I guess we'll take the duct tape, but is that really the best use of space right now? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe we'll find some forged steel and some oil and we can make repair kits. Is that how that works in this one? I forget. Shotgun slugs? I mean, that's probably worth it. I don't know. I should probably also mention, too, that did craft a few more, not many, but a few more arrows. So we've, you know, got about 70 Instead of, I think it was like 35, 40, something along those lines. I just thought, eh, we could probably use a little more ammo. It's not going to be enough, but it's enough to get us moving. 
if we're choosy about what we shoot at and all that jazz, it'll be all right. So coming up here, up the hill, we're going to have some, looks like a residential area. And that's fine. I mean, it's not really what we're looking for, but sometimes you can find good stuff in there. I mean, you never know, right? That's kind of the fun thing about this game is you never know what you're going to find where. Like, I'm not necessarily thinking I want to hit all the residential stuff. And yet we could easily stop and check a car and it could have an auger in it or something, you know? Or you could go into a house and find a book for whatever thing you really wanted, need, etc. Or even just find a good high quality weapon shoved away in a closet. You never know. That's kind of the fun part. Just the same, I am not necessarily looking for that kind of thing. I'm really... I think at this point what I'm looking for is auger parts, right? We, if we find auger parts, we can do the rest insofar as crafting an auger. But we really do need the parts to be able to do that, so... I'm kind of okay with sticking to... maybe locations that give us a better chance of finding tools. Now, I realize... This is the exact same building as what we're currently residing in. And maybe it's not a great choice in that regard, but... Oh no, actually it's not the exact same. It's almost the exact same. But it's not quite. But I thought just for the giggles. Let's go in here anyway. I don't mind. Um, okay. So, you're gonna start the work, but I have to do all the rest. I see how it is. Can I reach that guy? He's just out of range, but I know he's still alive. How you doing? Okay. I just thought there might be like construction boxes or something in here. I mean, you never know. Take the gas barrel, that's fine. Um, we'll take the money. Like, I'm basically inclined to kind of take more or less everything for right now. And then as we continue along, we'll start dumping stuff here and there, because, you know, some of this stuff definitely is not worth holding on to, but... We can be less choosy for a little while, and I'm okay with that. Did not repair the pickaxe before we left, and I did wonder if that was a good decision. We'll find out. Again, trying to stick to night vision just because that seems to disrupt the zombies, uh, interrupt them, warn them, etc. a little less than... The regular flashlight being granted. Sprinting around like an idiot, so, you know. Whatever. Figured out. Yeah, this one's a little different from the place we're in right now, because this is obviously three floors, not two. With roof access still, of course. Quite the interesting bathroom for a residential area. Nothing like having toilets right next to each other so you can poop together. Good times. The family that poops together stays together. Pretty sure that's a saying. Just go and scrap those guys. We don't care about padlocks, of course. Already destroyed several of those throughout this series. We'll continue to do so. Only brought one food item because I figure we'll probably find some more along the way. And, I don't know, maybe we should be taking the, the nitrate there. I'm going to leave that. Potassium, nitrate, whatever it is. Potassium, nitrate, potassium, nitrate, nitrate, potassium. Phosphoric acid, I don't know, something, words. Yeah. Scrap those things. Let's hop back on the bike. I don't necessarily want to go through that one. That one might actually be the same one. Nope, it's not. Yeah, we'll take that one token, though. So we've got a daycare over here. I might make a point of stopping to check every car. I'm not sure. I have a vague memory of the loot table of vehicles and of it being pretty decent. There are a lot of zombies over there. Is that a wandering horde? I mean, like, what's going on over here? I mean, it's gotta be, right? We just stumbled onto a wandering horde? I mean, it sure looks that way. Oh, 
Oh, you, you just moved your head at just the wrong moment there. Oh, no, it's just a crap shot is all that was. Okay, big boy over here. Shoot you in the head. I mean, I'm literally just doing this for the experience. That's all this is about. Okay. Couple more to go. Totally missed her. I don't know how I managed that one. That should have been an easy shot. Oh, now you see me. Alright, well, bring it on. Alright, that was pretty good. We'll go ahead and take care of this guy here. Like, so, I can charge you. It's fine. Okay. It's almost morning, so we can really kind of stop all this stealthy shenaniganry. Because, you know, they're not going to care anymore. Um, I guess... We got a couple shots off in here. How you doing? Just wanted to get the stagger on him, that's all. And we'll get these two over here. And that is a lot of arrows expended in a very short amount of time. But again, that was really good experience right there, so I'm I'm not a I'm not opposed to that expenditure. We're taking that skirt just because I'm not sure if it's going to end up getting hot out here. We are in a desert and we might need to switch clothing at some point, so uh, I wanted to see and compare. No, that one's still better. Okay. We'll probably have to take off. Oh, we're not even wearing an overcoat. I thought we were. Alright, well, never mind. Whatever. Here, let's drink uh, one of those goldenrod teas. Oh, hello. I'm going to run a bit. Okay, you're going to start walking, which is helpful. Just making sure there's no one around and I'm not walking through bodies because that's going to slow us down. That'll impact maneuverability. Okay, no problem there. Totally didn't even see her. She was probably just hunched down behind the counter here and I just totally missed it. I don't know that we really need one to set her all this water again. Just kind of taking things for right now and we'll worry about getting rid of stuff later. Alright, I'm I'm done with checking cabinets. There's really nothing in there for us. I already have that one because we've already made a bunch of those. Broke down two barrels before we left just so we had enough fuel to get moving. See, I'm pretty sure we have all these things, so whatever. How you doing, ma'am? It's basically going arm to arm. Spin her around, hit the other arm, spin her around, hit the other arm. It's kind of fun. Okay, let's check the other one. How you doing? Not well, apparently. Not well. Did we check the turlet in here? Yeah, we did. Okay. So, I want to say this is good enough for right now. We will continue on through this town, and if there's nothing here, we'll continue on to another town somewhere else. But the plan for right now is to try and find more industrial-type things in the hopes that we can find better tools, better equipment that'll allow us to do much more interesting things with the base because I don't think I have the patience. Wow, this place is not great for using the pickaxe. Gotcha next one, Tillin. Thanks for watching. See you later.